Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to do video number three on our Everyday Envelope series. All of these projects this week will be made with envelopes of some kind or another. They may be made with junk mail envelopes or just regular envelopes, large envelopes, who knows. But we're going to make some projects with them. This one, let me lay that paper over there. This one I'm going to use just these little regular size envelopes and let me see what size they are i think they're four and a quarter by five and a half i believe five and three quarters by four and a quarter so that's what size these are and i'm going to use three envelopes then i'm going to use a little envelope this is like a little card envelope and it is five by three and a half and then I'm going to use a toilet paper roll. And of course, you, you know what size those are. <laughs> this one, um, I had pulled out of the center of the toilet paper. Isn't that terrible? So I've left my husband in his bathroom with just a little roll that has no center core in there. So, But he'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry about him. All right, I'm just cutting that little piece off. So we're going to use those items right there. Now, I'm going to start, this is going to be like a center fold out for the center of a journal. So, you're going to need the two envelopes like this first. You're going to face them both face down with the little flaps up. And we're going to insert this one into that one. And you're saying, well, this is just what you did the other day. Nope, this is going to be different. It starts off the same, but it's going to be different. So you're going to put that one down in there, and then you're going to glue those flaps down. This is going to be where you stitch it in your signature. So let's say, let me grab a piece of paper here. Let's say this was the center of my signature. So if I had my, this was my journal, I would stitch that right in there like that. So if this is a page, then that would stitch right in there in the center of my signature. Okay, so let's glue these down. I'm just going to use my art glitter glue since I have emptied my little bottle of Barely Arts glue. And I don't want to stop long enough to fill it up. That's pretty sad, isn't it, that I'm so lazy I don't want to fill it up. I just don't want to stop crafting long enough to fill it up. <laughs> now, I don't glue this other one down in here because I don't think there's a need. It's not going to pull out. But um, you can glue that one down if you want to. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave it like that because this one's going to hold and then we're going to cover with paper and all kinds of things. So it's going to be okay like it is. Now, just like we did on that other one, I'm going to cut these little pieces off because I don't need those up there because I'm going to use uh, these as pockets. So all we're going to do is just fold those back and just cut right straight up through there. Straight-ish, I always say, because my straight, sometimes it's not straight straight. Okay, guys, since we are doing some um, t-shirts and that we're going to put those in the store, I want you guys to give me some suggestions as to what we could put on this t-shirts oh I start to say signatures what we can put on the t-shirts um, I have had one suggestion of course would be my famous I'm not gonna worry about it but give me some other suggestions as to what you would like to see put on a t-shirt that you would like and it is gonna have our logo on there so all right then we're gonna glue this one right here and that this again looks like that other one but it's not but I think, let me see, I'm, I'm thinking here, okay, that's going to glue in my signature. I've not done this before, so this is trial and error here. I'm going to glue that one there. Flip that over, and that, yes, okay. On this one, the difference being, you're going to glue this one like that. So these have got the little pocket up. This one's going to have your pocket down, and you're going to glue it right here. So that's going to be our difference on here. And I'll show you why all of that in just a minute. Let's get them glued together first. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna just sit that like that, I think. And then press it down. And just don't go all the way up to your fold because you want them to fold nice and flat like that. So make sure that you leave just a tiny little bit of a gap in there, okay? Now, the reason I folded that one different, if you stitch this in your signature, right there, so here's one page, here's another page with pockets, then when you flip this page over, you'll have a flip out like that, okay? So that's what we're gonna do there. Now, before I put my other little pieces on, I'm gonna cover these with paper. The paper that I'm gonna be using today is from our Tranquil Gardens collection, and this is the embellishment pad. These we have a ton of, and so far they've not been going real good because I think people really don't know what's inside them. So I'll just do a quick little flip through. It's got lots, lots and lots of beautiful embellishments. So this is just exactly what it's called, an embellishment pad. So if you get one of the other Tranquil Garden collections, the A4 or the 8x8, this would be a great addition. So I'm going to start off with this paper right here. And I'm going to cover this sheet first. I'll tell you what, first I'm going to ink around all of it. I like to ink first, that way anything that I don't cover, it'll have a little bit of an ink on it. That's not something you have to do. Keep that in mind. This is just what I like. All right, so we've got that inked, and I am gonna glue this down right here. Now, I'm trying to decide if I wanna put it just square, or if I wanna tear it. I think I'm gonna do a little deckle edge with this. So I'm gonna use my deckle edge ruler. These you can find in the shop, or in our store, I should say. Some people are tell me, when you say shop, I don't know what if it means there's a store there or what. So in our store, you can find these. They are fantastic to put that deckel edge on there. So let's see what that would look like. Oh yeah, I like that. Then we're going to tear it again right here. And right there. And I'm just going to try to line it up on my grid paper. That way it helps me get it a little bit straighter than normal. Now the only thing on these rulers is you do have to hold them down kind of tight. You can't be loose hands and it tear well. So just hold it kind of tight. There we go. Okay. So we are going to, let me see which way's up. That way's up, I think. And I got it a little bit long. I always tear it a little bit long because I'm always afraid that I'm going to tear it too short. <laughs> so uh, sometimes I just tear it too long. That's okay. Just take a little piece off of there. All right. And I'm going to take just a little piece off of the edge because I don't want it to go up to that full line there. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit off of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Right now we're going to put this down and I'm going to ink around this as well. It helps show that deckel edge on there when you ink around it and I like that part. Okay, then we'll glue it down. Oops, not my finger, I hope, but I did put glue all over it. So I'll put that right there. Oh, I think that's pretty. It's very pretty. It goes well with that brown, doesn't it? Okay, then on this one, all we're going to cover is just up to this point right here. Just up to here. Not going to cover the whole thing. So I think a piece of this is going to work there. And I think I'm going to tear this edge, I believe. Let's see. No, maybe not. 
I think I'm just going to make it look kind of continuous, hopefully. So let's tear a little bit off of this edge. I like to use as much of the paper up as I can and not leave a lot of scraps. So I don't mind if I'm using the same color paper over and over. That doesn't bother me. I think this paper is gorgeous, so it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, that'll work right there. I like the teals and the burgundies and the stark white all together. Makes a really pretty collection. <clears throat> we do have a few of these in stock if you want to check them out. I'll try my best to remember to link them below. I will actually be at convention when you're watching this. So I will be editing and all of that in my in our cabin that we have so hopefully I'll remember to do all of these things that I'm telling you I will. Alright then I'm going to leave this blank because these are the two pockets here and we're going to put something over this one. Now let's see what we want to put there. I wonder, let me pull this out. See, I don't mind that. I don't mind that right there at all. That's pretty. It's just enough and it's got some words up there. So let's just do this. I'm gonna tear the edge, just this little bit of edge off here, as small as I can. So there's our center fold, and then it's going to fold up like that. Now on here, I'm not going to put anything because this will be stitched in the signature, so this is really not going to show that much anyway. All right, now we're going to cover this side right here. And I'm just going to tear my paper again. Okay, that will work right there. So we're just going to... Ink that up and put that right there. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm telling you, this paper I love. Do I ever have a paper that I say I don't love? Every now and then. Sometimes I'll run into a paper that I'm not really crazy about, but most of the time I like most of them. Okay. And then we need to cover both of these. This one will be... No, neither one of these has an opening on it like this, but we could put an opening on it if we wanted to, but I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to cover these two, and I might just cover one with pink. Let's see, one with just some pink. This is a completely different collection, but I think I might use that. I don't know. Let me look. I may just go back and use some of this other. I just keep going back to this page because I love it. So let's use this page again. I love that page. I think on this time I will use it this way. So we're going to tear it about right there. I've got something hanging on my pencil that I cannot get off. It's like a little feather. And we're going to tear up there. Okay. So I'm going to tear this off. Okay, right there. Make sure I get it the right way up. Alright. 
All right, and then over here on this one. That's not gonna be wide enough, so we'll grab something else. I'm just gonna pull a piece of this, whoops. Pull a piece of this and put that on there. That will be pretty. And let's see, I think I might use this side. And see, even though this has blocks, you don't have to use it as a little block. You can use it any way that you want. Once you tear it or cut it and then embellish it, it's going to be beautiful. Doesn't matter. Okay. And let's see. Like this. There we go. Let's see. That looks, I'm going to have to tear this side in the bottom. I started to say that looks a little bit big, and that's because I haven't finished tearing it yet. Now let's see if that fits. Yeah, that'll work. I, I tore it a little crooked at the top, but we don't care about that because we want that torn look anyway. So what are we going to say? Not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. And it's not going to. It's going to. Not going to worry about it. <laughs> oh, me. That's the country. Not going to worry about it. All right. There we go right there. See, that's pretty, I think. Now our toilet paper roll. This is where this comes in. We're going to, now this will be a page, a page, a page, and this will be a flip out and a page. Now we could put our tissue toilet paper roll right here, or we could put it right here. Either one, it doesn't matter, so let me decide which one I want it on. I think I'm going to put it on this one. That will be the, like when you flip this well, my husband is cranking up his tractor, so you may hear a lot of noise. This will be on this side. Like, this will be a page. This will be a page. So I think I'm going to put it right here. Now, all I do to my rolls is I take them off. Somebody asked me, did I sanitize them? And I said, not ours, because my husband and I are the only ones here that use this particular bathroom. The bathroom that's in the shop, I, do, I, I wouldn't use, because a little bit everybody uses that one. But we're the only one that uses this one, so I just, I don't these, because, you know, they're fine. But if you have a lot of traffic in your bathrooms, you could sanitize them. All you have to do is spritz them with a little bit of alcohol. And then just leave them, you know, flatten them out and leave them to dry. Once they dry, they're going to be nice and flat. So it doesn't hurt them at all to spritz them with alcohol. All right, we're going to put that, I think, right there. I'm going to go ahead and cover it, and then I'm going to put a little top on topper on there. So let's see what we want to cover it with. Now, to cover it, I may just go with this pink. And then what I will do is put some embellishments on it from our embellishment pack. So I am going to, and on this I think I'm just going to cut because I don't want any of that toilet paper roll showing. So remember you cut it just a tiny bit bigger. And I'm, just, I'm going to do it this way. I started to just cut it with my trimmer, but I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to put my glue down. And then I'm just going to press that down. I'm going to go ahead and erase my pencil marks. Press that down really well. And then I can trim around it. And yes, this side of the paper is beautiful. But thankfully, I do have more of this. So not a problem. And I did want that pink on the other side. Now I am just trimming around it just a little bit wider than the tissue roll because you don't want to see that toilet paper roll. And you can use paper towel rolls too. 
they're the same width when you flatten them out. There we go, we've got that covered. Make sure that my trimming is a little bit straighter. There we go. All right, we'll lay that aside and I am gonna go ahead and punch. Let's see, I think I'll use my Molly Punch. I'm gonna call this my Molly Punch. See if I can slide it in there and punch it both at the same time. Ooh, that was a little bit tough, but yes, it did it just fine. That is a, what is that, a one and a half inch punch that Molly sent me. She sent it to me from Amazon. Yes, it's a one and a half. I love it, love it, love it. It works so well. Oops, I, got, I went a little crazy on the ink on that, didn't I? So when I do that, I just take my paper towel and I go around it just to kind of smudge it in and it looks a little bit better. And then since I can't stitch because my sewing machine is in parts unknown where the men put it, I am just gonna glue this bottom down. If I could stitch, I would stitch all the way around it, but I can't, so this works just as good. Just put plenty of glue right there at the bottom and then you need to press it down really well so that glue catches. There we go. So we have got that on there. Trim this paper just a tiny bit. There you go, there's our little toilet paper roll that we're gonna put right here. And it's already got some uh, stamping on there, but I think I'm gonna put another little embellishment out of here on it. So what would you suggest? What would we suggest? Let's just flip through real quick and I'll, one will catch my eye. Oh, one has already caught my eye. Okay, let's see how close to the front it might be. Now this is not like journal quotes exactly, but these will work. I'm gonna cut this one out right here. I'm with the green. These would be beautiful paper packs for card makers. So if you're a card maker, this would be fantastic because it's got happy birthday, happy Father's Day, happy Mother's Day, uh, from our house to yours, best wishes, all kinds of things on there. I'll just lay it here and let you kind of look at it while I'm trimming this. So great quotes for cards, but we're going to do this right here and I'm gonna cut my corners at a little bit of an angle just to take that squareness off of them. And then I think I'll put it right there, but it looks like it's a little crooked, let's see. Okay, we're gonna ink around this just a tiny bit. Then I'm gonna glue this down first. Whoa, knocked it right out of my own hand. And I'm gonna glue this all the way down. You could leave it, you could just glue it on the sides and the bottom. Let it be another tuck if you want, but I'm just gonna glue it straight down to this. Again, I like to use my bone folder and really give that a hard press so that it glues down all over. Nice and flat. There we go. All right, now we're gonna put this right there. It just says, enjoy your special day. This could go with any occasion. Uh, do we wanna put anything under it? I don't think I'll put anything under it, but I'm gonna put something else on this little pocket. Show you that in just a second. Let's tuck that over right there. See if I got it somewhere near straight. Oh, I didn't finish what I was saying a minute ago. 
You guys go ahead and give me some suggestions below of what you would like to see on the t-shirts. And once you do that, uh, the, the ones that we choose, and we may not choose but one, who knows, but if we use your design or your quote on a t-shirt, then you will get a free t-shirt. But I'm not sure, I can't give everybody a free t-shirt, so if two or three people have the same quote, I don't know what we'll do, we may just draw names. But, um, and if we use two or three different designs, you know, we'll try to give each one of you either a discount or, you know, something. We'll give you something. We'll give you money off of your shirt, half price, or something like that. But give us some quotes. We may just have a drawing. We may just put all of the quotes in a tub and just draw out and give away a t-shirt like that. I'll decide between now and then, but just, just get your quotes in and we'll see what we're going to do. I think that is cute right there. Put that right there. There we go. So there's a little pocket and we can make a little card for it. We've got plenty of paper here that would make a beautiful little card. Let's see. I probably already have some cut. Yeah, that right there would make a pretty card, wouldn't it? Just cut it off right. Bring it out just a little bit. Cut it off right there. And I think I'm going to cut this side just straight down. I'm going to cut those little edges off. And then we'll cut it right straight across. I always say straight-ish because my straight is not always straight. But it works for me. Okay. Now, I think I'm just going to round the corners at the top. Since this is going to be a small tag. And I may just go ahead and round the bottom ones too. Who, who knows? And the back is already white, so we don't have to do anything with it. I'm just going to ink this up a little bit. And we'll probably put a little pull at the top. Let's see. What kind of pull do we want to put? Let me go ahead and grab this and may just use a little piece of this green and cut out a little pull. And that pull may be way too big. I may just have to go back and do something different. We'll punch it out and we'll look at it and see. This is an old Stamp It Up punch. I am sorry it has been discontinued for many years. I wish they would bring it back because everybody wants one. But so far, they haven't. But I love it. Uh, I don't know if you can find one anywhere. You might check Etsy or eBay or something like that. I don't have a clue. I get questions every time I use it about people wanting one. And I, I wish I had a thousand of them and I could just give them to you guys. But I don't. I don't. There we go. So we got that. Let's put it down in there. Now, I'm not going to force it because my glue is not completely dry, but that will work. So there's our little pocket. That's cute. Now, you know what we have to put here? You know. There we go on that. And then I've got this little tan butterfly, and this came out of the Tim Holtz, I think the Snippets pack. And I'm just going to put him on here. He's laying right here on my desk, so let's just go ahead and use him. Just put him right there. And I started to say instead of bling in the center of him, I will use some of my stickles. But guess what? They've already been moved, so I'm going to leave that as he is right now. Now, we're going to flip this over. And on this side, because that'll be one flip out, and then on this side, I think I'm going to use this little envelope. And what I'm going to do on it is first I'm going to glue this down. 
just going to put my glue right at the top and press that down. And no, I have not made one of these before. First time. <laughs> so that's why I'm going kind of slow and hopefully getting it, getting it completely right, hopefully. All right, so we'll put that there. Let's see. That's my center. Okay, I think I want it to flip this way. So I'm actually going to put the little envelope upside down, but nobody's going to know because we're going to cover it with paper. We're going to glue it down there, just on the back, and this will be another little flip. And then we're going to cut this open so that will be pockets at the top. And I just cut a little tiny piece off of there. I'm going to use my, well, I'm going to cover it first. I should say I'm going to use my little punch to punch that out, but I'm going to cover it with paper first. And I don't think we'll need very much paper at all for this little piece. Okay, let's see. This is wide enough, I guess. Oh, I don't want to use that one on there because it's going on this page. So let me look further. See what else we've got. Let's just use another little piece of this, maybe. Okay, let's use a little piece of this. This is cute, and it's pink, and it will go with that collection. So you can mix and match your collections. Don't be afraid to do that. I very seldom use the same collection. I use papers and things from all different collections, and they work. Or at least in my eyes, they work. The writing is that way up, so we need to put it the right way up. And then I'm just going to press that down. And I'm going to trim it off. I could fold it around. Let's see what it would be like if I folded it around. See if it would stay folded. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and trim this first, and then I'm going to fold it around. So I'm just going to trim this off. And there we go. Now I'll fold that around like that and then trim that off. That will work. And make sure that you get your little, this little fold pressed over well. All right, now I need to open it back up and do some more trimming here. All right, there we go. We've got that. Not sure which way this way's up. So then on the top here, all I'm going to do is punch a little pull on both of them so that we can tell that that's a little pocket. All right. There we go. That echoed in here, didn't it? <laughs> Cute. All right, so that folds out like that. I'm gonna press this down. Okay. Then we need to cover the inside because we are gonna be opening this up. And I could have done that before I punched, but I'm just gonna leave it. This has got a little blue in there. I don't care. I, it's still going to match, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to cover it. You know, now that you guys have pointed out to me that I say that, I'm not going to worry about it. I realize how many times I do say it. I hope, <laughs> hopefully it's not too aggravating for you, but I can't stop it <laughs> because it's the truth. I'm not going to let it concern me. That's not a... That's not what we should do. We should have fun crafting, not be stressed over it. Don't be stressed. 
Remember, it's just paper. Oops, sorry. I was shaking the whole table, wasn't I? My equipment is not hooked up like it was. Okay, so we got that. Then, we're just going to trim this all around. Like that. Now you can choose to clip that little back off or just leave it. And I think, I think I might just leave it on there and just trim this kind of straight right here and leave it just like that. Go ahead and put a little bit of ink on there. I'm not going to put a lot, just a tiny bit. Like that. Then we are going to glue that down right there. See, to me, that all matches. I don't. I mean that's not a big concern of mine and then this will flip out like this so we can put some embellishments or something inside there so let's go ahead and glue this one down oh you know what on this one I will need to clip that little piece out because this one's actually going to be glued down on the bottom so I will need to clip that one out just so that we can find the pocket back there and we're just going to glue that down right there there we go now this is not this is kind of thick so it's not staying closed well so let's put some type of closure on it you could have put a little ribbon underneath if you'd wanted to close it by but I think I'm just going to put some type of little closure here. And I'm just looking around to see if I have anything. Like I said, they've taken everything away from me. I may have to just go with a button. I did salvage my buttons. That's the only thing that <laughs> I was able to save. Everything else is in storage. Let's see. That's kind of a pinkish. Pinkish. But I don't think that's going to work. It's going to be a little bit too stiff. So let's try something different. Um, I don't have a little paper clip. All right. So what I did is I punched out a few little circles. These are one inch circles. And I think we're going to glue those down. Um, just one side. Look at my fingers. How, how inky. And we're going to let this be our little tuck spot for that. Yes, yeah, so that will work. Okay, we need to find what side we want to glue down okay I think we'll glue it that way and glue this side down and I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac because I think it will hold a lot better because we're going to need this to be really strong. And you're only going to put it on about a third of that little circle. And 
and you just want a little bit of that tab sticking up there. Now on this one, I'm just going to hold it down for a second until it glues really, really well, really well. Now I'm going to let that sit. I'm not going to fool with it. But once that dries well, you can just pull that right out from under there. Pop that up. So I'll see if I can show you a little closer. See? So, okay. Now we want to make a couple of little tags. But I'm not going to put my tags in right now, and I don't even know if I'll make them at this point. But you just need to make a couple of little tags to put in here, and that is your finished project. I do want to put something on here, but I'm not sure if I want to put a word, or just a flower, or just a piece of lace. Uh, let me look through here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I like this piece right here on the cover. So we're going to cut that out. I told you I use every piece of my papers. Even the covers. So we're just going to cut that out like that. And then I'm going to put that down just like that. But I'm going to put a little tiny piece of book page under it. Let's see if that will look right. Yes, let's do that right there. So I'm going to ink around this. We're going to glue our book page down first. Like that. Then this piece we're going to glue right there. Okay, and then I am going to cut a little piece of this quote right here out and I'll show you what piece I'm cutting in just a second. I'm not going to cut the whole thing out of the book, that way I won't lose it. This little quote just says, flowers grow. And tearing little pieces out of books that's maybe titles, something like that, to put on your projects is really cute as well. Do we want to put that up there? Or do we want it down here? No, nope, I think we want it up there. Just like that. Okay. All right, guys, that is the project. And like I said, this is another one of our everyday envelope series. This I think we're going to call this a center fold envelope flip out, maybe. And we need to make tags for all these, of course, but you guys know how to make tags, so I'm not going to do that on camera. And I'll probably embellish these a little bit with maybe some words and things. There's lots of different things you can do to them. But once this is dry, let me see if I can just pull it out without 
effect in that. Then you've got that little pocket and you can just tuck it right back under like that. And then you have a pocket here with a tag and then pockets all on the inside. So that again is our third video in the Everyday Envelope series. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.